Hey Toronto, in this video we are going to show you how to roast fish. For this video, we're going to be using three different types of trout brought to us by our friends at Cold Pour Springs in Blue Mountains, Ontario. The three varieties of trout that we're going to be using today are Butterfly Rainbow Trout, which essentially has had all the bones removed and the head taken off. This is the Speckled Trout, or also known as the Brown Trout. Uh, this is a fantastic trout for roasting. This is left entirely whole, so it does have the bones on the inside. And it's got a really soft, subtle skin, which comes apart lovely in the oven. Uh, and the last variety of trout that we're going to be using is the Colapore Springs Albino Rainbow Trout. Now this is a really interesting one. Just like the first, it actually is completely boneless on the inside, or the small bones that remain will actually cook out during cooking. Uh, however, on this one we've left the head attached, and it's a really fun, exciting fish, which is essentially a completely natural variant of albino which has been found on the farm. The first fish we're going to prepare is the speckled trout, which is left whole. For the whole roast speckled trout, today we'll be using fresh tarragon, carrots mixed with wild leeks, which are just simply chopped up and mixed together. Uh, if you don't have a mandolin, which is what I use to do those carrots, feel free to just actually peel them using a peeler. That'll work just lovely. Uh, Dijon mustard, white wine, olive oil, and last but not least, salt and pepper. For our first recipe today, which is the speckled trout, preheat your oven to 425 degrees. The next step is to actually place some small incisions in the skin of our speckled trout. You can do this on a cutting board, or if you feel comfortable, because your knife will not touch what's underneath, you can do it on a regular surface. Just making light incisions, you don't want to go too far down, just opening it up a little bit. The next step is to season the fish. I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil, drizzle it on, a little bit in the cavity as well, flip it over, do the same on the other side. We're going to take a little bit of salt, give it a decent sprinkle, both on the skin as well as inside the cavity, flip it over and repeat. Touch of pepper goes on, just a little bit, you don't want it to overpower. Next we're going to take our tarragon, we're pretty much just going to pull it right off of the uh, stem and add it to the cavity, just like such. In the next step we're simply going to take our fish and place it onto some tin foil which we've laid out. All I've done is taken this tin foil and I've laid it about twice the width of the fish, fold it over one time so it'll be a little bit stronger and then now we're just going to put the fish on there. We're going to take a splash of Dijon mustard, just lay it over top, and then we're going to take the vegetables, which is pretty much the carrot and the wild leek, I'm going to drape them over top. A splash of white wine, and then one last little tinch of olive oil. And now we're going to fold over the sides. It's important that we fold over the head side and the tail side to create a seal first. And then simply roll that over, tuck it in tightly alongside the belly side of the fish, and then give it a few turns. If you're not sure, just make sure you crimp the edges to ensure that you've got a nice and tight seal. And there we go. All right, so now that our speckled trout is ready to go, we're just going to pop it in the oven at 425 degrees. Just going to put it directly on the rack there and come back and check on it in about 15 minutes. It's going to take about 15 to 25 minutes for a fish this size, which is about one and a half pounds. Uh, however, it's very easy to check, so I'll show you the trick in a minute. Okay, so now let's check the doneness of the speckled trout. Simply going to transfer it to your work surface and slowly unravel it. The beauty of this preparation is essentially you're steaming the fish, so it's going to be super moist, all the flavors are going to melt together, it's going to be absolutely delicious. So all that goodness coming out right now is just super, super tasty. As you can see, our vegetables have become more tender and all the flavors have melted. And now all we get to do is check to see if we're done. So simply move the flesh aside all the way to the bone and ensure there's no rawness left. 
little, little bit of opaqueness near the bone is okay if you like your fish that way. I personally do. Uh, but if you like it fully cooked, just continue to cook it. To me, this is perfectly done and ready to service. As you can see with our beautiful speckled trout, it's not all that hard to cook a whole fish. Super important to remember that when it comes to any cooking, as with all other foods, that the quality of the ingredients is paramount. So please consider purchasing this incredibly good Colapore Springs trout. For our roast butterfly albino rainbow trout, we will be using lemon, which we've just cut into slices and then cut those slices into halves. A little bit of fresh thyme, a couple sprigs will do, salt and pepper, and a touch of olive oil. For the albino rainbow trout recipe, the first step is going to be to preheat our oven to 425 degrees. The second step for a very simple and delicious albino rainbow trout is going to be give it a light seasoning of olive oil or coating of olive oil on the inside and on both sides. And follow that up with a light seasoning of salt and black pepper. Once we've seasoned it, we're quite simply going to place our thyme on the inside and lay a few lemon wedges across the thyme, just like such. And then we're going to just fold it over back into its natural shape, just like such. And don't worry if a little bit of the lemon sticks out, that won't be a problem at all. Okay, so the next step is actually an elective step. What we're going to be doing is trussing the fish, essentially, taking a little bit of butcher twine, uh, we're taking lengths of probably eight inches long. And we're just going to tie it, lay it underneath, just tie a simple knot to hold the fish together. Again, this is completely elective. If you do not decide to go ahead and truss it, you can also just place the filling in the fish, and when you turn it over, just do so gently. For the fourth and final step in this super simple recipe is to simply transfer our fish to a parchment laid. It could be a fry pan, a sheet tray, cookie tray, whatever you have. Uh, and pop in the oven at 425 degrees for about 12 to 15 minutes. The very last thing we have to do is check for doneness and then we can serve this fish. So to check for doneness, it's quite simple. You're just going to pull the skin and the flesh away right to the bone and make sure that it's cooked all the way through. If you're concerned about the presentation, you can do the side that you're not actually going to present and essentially just kind of go in there. See how it's fully cooked, it's not at all translucent? That's what we're going for. It's still nice and moist though. So this fish is ready to serve. You can transfer to your plate, and if you'd like for presentation's sake, I think the strings look quite nice. However, if you'd like to take them off, a simple pair of kitchen scissors, clean of course, can do the trick very quickly. Just remove like such. When all is said and done, what we're left with is a delicious albino rainbow trout. To service it, you pretty much just take your thyme out, you can leave the lemon wedges in if you'd like, and bring it to the table. This serves one perfectly, so I highly recommend you get one per guest. Okay, so for the next roasted fish that we're going to be doing, we're going to be using a different form of roasting. We're going to use pan roasting. So essentially what we're going to do is we're going to start the process of the cooking in a frying pan, and we're just going to transfer it to the oven and let the carryover heat finish the cooking process. For the butterfly rainbow trout, we're going to be using the Healthy Butcher's house-made Moroccan spice mix, a little bit of salt, and some olive oil. For the butterfly rainbow trout recipe, we need to preheat our oven to 425 degrees. The second step for the pan roasted rainbow trout is to just simply season it up. So once again, we're going to take a little bit of olive oil, we're going to coat the outsides, as well as the inside. The next step is we're going to take a little bit of salt, just a small amount, because our uh, spice blend has a bit of salt within it, so very light seasoning throughout the fish. Just like such. And now we're going to actually season it up with this Moroccan spice mix. Once again, with fish, you actually want to go rather light on the seasonings because it's a delicate flavor. Especially rainbow trout. Alright, the next step is to preheat your oven ready pan. 
In this case, we're using a large cast iron pan, which is available on realfoodtoronto.com or in store. Simply bring it to a medium high heat and allow it to preheat for approximately one and a half to two minutes. If you're using something thinner, like a steel pan or whatnot, your preheat time will be a lot less. But we want to get this nice and hot because we want to actually establish your crust on this one and get some good color. For the final step of this recipe, we're going to actually be frying the fish in the pan and transferring it to the oven. To do so, we're going to add a splash of olive oil, just like such. Move your oil around, make sure your pan is nice and hot. And then we're going to put the fish down in the pan, skin side down, and always drop the fish away from you. All right, we're going to allow the fish to cook skin side down for about a minute on the high heat, and now we're going to transfer it to the oven once it's ready. What we're looking for is we're looking for the flesh to be cooked about halfway up the fish and the skin to be crispy prior to adding it to the oven. Alright, so we're looking great. The belly region, as you can see, is fully cooked. And we're climbing up there and done this, so let's pop this in the oven. Alright, we're going to cook that for about five minutes or so. It's not going to take very long to cook through. Okay, so it's time to look for doneness with our rainbow trout. Okay, so as you can see, it looks like it's fully cooked on the outside. It's still nice and soft. And if we were to flake apart the flesh, it's still super tender, but it is fully cooked. So this is ready to go. Got a few choices for presentation. If you like it as is, you can place it as such. Or possibly more attractive would be that delicious crispy fish skin skin side If you're a crispy fish skin lover like I am, you're going to want to do this at home. Very simple preparation. Again, you start by frying it on the stove top and then you pop it in the oven. Come back in 10 minutes and it's ready to eat. We hope you enjoyed today's video on how to roast three different types of trout three different ways. As always, all the ingredients used in this video are available in store at The Healthy Butcher or on realfoodtoronto.com. Beyond that, if you have any questions about what you've seen or if you need any help during the process, we're always here for you, so drop us a line.